Vince, I have a question for you. Who is this Asher guy on Grindr? Wait a what the hell are you doing with my phone? You can't do that! That is a terrible violation of Fritz's privacy! That is a code blue level sin! Really? You don't want people looking at shit on your phone. You shouldn't leave it laying around. I had it laying face down for a reason. Oh, you shouldn't do that. That's a code yellow sin because that can really scratch up the screen and... Mm. So, what's the deal with him? And why are you meeting him at the Greenwood Cemetery tomorrow? Because he works there. He's a groundskeeper at the cemetery. Grinder. Grinder, grinder, grinder. Oh! I used to love Grinder back in Russia. One year for Pootie's birthday, we used it to find a party favor. Pootie wanted to play a uh, pin the tail on the homo, which was a lot of fun. Almost as much fun as playing a game of set the flamer on fire. <laughs> oh. Sorry, guys. Um, no offense. Yes, Claire, what do you Fritz, want? Fritz, you know, the party's in there. I know. Just need some time by myself, that's all. The party's for you, and you're out here acting like a big old baby. It is your birthday. I don't feel like doing this whole big production just because I'm turning 35. Oh, you're not turning 35. We went to high school together. I know how old you are. You're the same age. I know, but unlike you, I've accepted it. I've embraced it. Besides, my fiancé keeps me young. <laughs> <laughs> That's because he's 109. Yes, the oldest millionaire in the tri-state area. You know, Clara, this just isn't where I thought I'd be at this point in my life, you know? When they were my age, my parents, they had... Well, they had me, Prometheus and Pius. They had a home, they had a mortgage. I mean, I still live in an apartment with a roommate. Oh, how is he? Uh, how would I know? You've been living with him for over ten years. Do you no, even know I his mean, name? Um, I don't know him. I mean, the only evidence I have of his existence really is, uh, well, he's rather loud when he masturbates. And also, you never want to use the bathroom right after he's used it. I mean, you want to give it a good three or four hours, leave the windows open. Cause... <sighs> hey, check this out on Grinder. Now Asher is 1,035 feet away. Wow, that's not creepy at all. Perfect for a stalker or a homicidal maniac. You know, it'd be cool if we bumped into each other right now because, well, we're supposed to meet tomorrow in Greenwood Cemetery. Yeah, Wait getting wood in Greenwood. Wait a minute. What? Asher's only 22? That's Ow. disgusting! My nephew is that age! I never knew you had that kind of moral compass. And yet, you're engaged to somebody twice Almost three times. But that is completely different. Uh -huh, yeah, Clara. Mine is strictly a business relationship. He gave me the ring, and I don't have to do anything physical with him. And hopefully, I never will. <coughs> Besides, that is completely different from your despicable, immoral behavior. Whatever. Give me my phone back. <laughs> Gabby? No! I mean, I know it's been a number of years, but you look different. Yeah, well, that's because I'm actually Gabby's oh. mother, Nancy. Well, you're her mother? Yes. But you look so much younger than her. Oh, uh, well, thank oh you. Oh, my goodness. Is this where they shot the honeymooners? <laughs> no. Gabby! Actually, Gabby? Gabby's not here right now. What do you mean she's not here right now? She is, uh, in, it, well, in insane Wait. asylum. She's in the nut house? It was about time, you oh. have to admit. Well, I wanted to talk to her father well, anyway. Well, Gabby's father left us oh, when she was a baby. So, I, I guess you'll do then, um, even though I really think this is a man-to-man -man conversation. 
Well, I am the Reverend Pius Putnam III. I spent the last five years a fugitive from the law because I tried to burn heretics on the front lawn of my church. And apparently, that's illegal in this country. And I, I found refuge in Russia. And the one thing that got me through those dark, dark days was all the letters I had received from your daughter. I mean, she wrote me religiously. So, um, I am thinking of leaving the priesthood and uh, making an honest woman out of your daughter. I would like to ask for her hand in matrimony. Okay, so Candy? Yes? According to Grinder, Asher is about 85 feet away. Really? I can't believe you're dating a grave robber. This is even beyond uh, you. Groundskeeper, caretaker. Claire is the grave robber. Remember, 106 year old fiance. Run it over my head again. Why are you having sex in a cemetery? It's early September, not Halloween, so I'm not. Because getting... he works here, it's just a convenient uh, place and it's a little different. It's kind of fun and cool Fritz. in a way. What? We're not teenagers anymore. You don't have to do it in a cemetery. We don't need to one, worry about, you know, doing it at home and then mom and dad walking in or oh, come hiding on. It's it just or a... so... <sighs> really? Oh, oh, okay. He's about 35 feet away. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't know why I agreed. Hey, get back here. Fritz is 20 feet away. Hmm. I'm surprised I don't see him. Fritz should be somewhere around here. It says here he should be right. Oh! Asher? Fritz? Yeah. Huh. You kind of, you actually kind of do look like your profile picture. Gee. Thanks. So, huh. You want to walk around a little bit? You can cut the bull crap. We both know why we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, um, have you ever done this sort of thing before? Yeah, I, well, uh, outdoors, yes, uh, in a cemetery, no. <laughs> well, I suppose we could, uh, take this whole thing in baby steps. Maybe. Okay, can you please not say baby steps in anything related to sex, because my brother is a priest, and it just sticks a really, really nasty image in my mind. What the hell are those? Are those your tarot cards? No, these are Gabby's tarot cards. Gabby is a practitioner of the dark arts? It was her side business, Gabby's tarot card readings. One of her many side businesses, actually. There was also uh, her illegal pharmacy. What? Her dead flower shop. Her abortion clinic. <laughs> And, uh, oh, there's just so many. It's hard oh to remember. Oh, my goodness. Huh. I was... I was about to give up the priesthood for her. I was about to renounce my faith and be excommunicated by my church for her. Now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. She wasn't an angel sent from above. She was... She was a viper sent to test me, test my faith and my resolve. She was sent here by Beelzebub himself. Her father was the devil, wasn't he? Well, he didn't make child support payments, but I... No, that's enough. <laughs> well, I renounce Gabstar, and I praise God and Pooty. The man with the most divinely created nipples in the history of mankind. And I will remain committed to them. Oh, I really dodged a bullet on that one. 
I don't think he's the only one that dodged a bullet. All right, here we are. <laughs> May I offer you a beverage? Uh, yes, please, thank you. Okay. See if I can get this to work. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you doing? There are moments you can turn your phone off so we're not interrupted. I mean, what is it with your so generation? So you wondering? don't want a Facebook live stream? Uh, not really. I just noticed something here on Grinder. You don't have on here the last time you were tested for HIV. I mean, when was the last time? About a year or two ago. Uh, uh, about a year or two ago? Can you can you be any more inexact? What is with you older guys and oh, this crap? Like you know the last time you were tested? I was last tested on June 15th, 2017 at 4.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I remember even tweeting about you it. You got any rubbers? Uh, no. Really? Here, a little Lord Fortnoroy. What's this? It is called a condom. You put it on your dick when you're about to fuck. It was invented by Charles Goodyear in 1839 and patented in 1844. I know what this is, Grandpa. This is what old people used before the invention of prep. Why would I need a safe sex? I mean, what is it with your generation and the resurgence of barebacking? Yes, well. You're a bottom, so you don't really notice much of a difference. But with a condom, you can't feel anything if you're the top. Ugh, each crevice, each nook as I plunge deeper and deeper into you. Oh, as it gets progressively softer and firmer again, and warmer. Whoa. Each layer I penetrate through. Okay, I think I can jerk you off, but sex with you might be a little too risky given your, uh... Reckless lifestyle choices? My reckless lifestyle choices? You're a fucking barebacker. Okay, first of all, don't judge me. I'm a millennial, and we don't like labels such as barebacker. This from a guy whose generation has come up with about 800 different gender types. You just jumped to the conclusion that I'm a guy? Okay, tell me you're not transphobic. Oh my god. Y you're trans? No, I'm a guy. But you just jumped to the assumption as to what gender I was. That really pisses me off, but I'm getting really hot and bothered right now. And you're pissing me off so much that I could just choke you. Because angry sex can be so hot. Quick, get it out before you change my mind. You are now watching Cooking with the Naked Kitchen Fairy. And today I am joined by my lovely assistant Woodrow. And we're gonna be cracking some nuts. Who goes? Oh, Fritz, darling. Hi. How was your date? Okay, let's see. How can I, how can I put this delicately? It was the worst fucking sex, if you can call it sex, that I've ever had in my life. Now imagine, if you will, a guy who can't get it up for more than five seconds at a time, but still insists on topping you for about two hours. And yet, he still wants a participation trophy for uh, trying. Kids these days?